Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel, Just Missy, I'm Missy. Today we're going to be doing a mobile home tidy up, I'm going to be doing some decorating, and I also have a very quick and easy recipe to share with you if you're looking for a quick meal to feed your family. So yes, I'm in my pajamas in this clip and I'm putting it in there anyways because I had a really slow start to this morning. I, the last thing I wanted to do was clean, but I was making myself. So I thought the very first thing I can do to get myself rolling was to put in a load of laundry. And then as I was doing it, I was going, well, I actually need to do this before I could get dressed because I needed to have some undergarments and things <laughs> cleaned before I could get dressed. So we're starting off this video in my pajamas, getting laundry going, and then we're gonna move in and start tidying up my mobile home and get on with my day. So if you're looking for some great cleaning motivation, some decorating motivation, and a quick and easy meal, this is the video for you. Let's do this. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. I hope that gave you some laundry motivation. It's washed, dried, and I'm dressed. <laughs> and now we're ready to tidy up my mobile home. Let's get this place looking clean. There's a new day waiting around the bend. There's a new day and it will restore.
I would love to know from you guys how you get yourself motivated to clean and do your daily dudes, you know, what you need to do when you don't feel like it. Like what, what do you do to keep yourself motivated and going on and getting things done? I would love to hear how you guys like keep yourself motivated and what you do. I know I watch a ton of cleaning videos and they really help keep me motivated because just watching somebody else do what I should be doing makes me feel like, okay, Missy, you need to get up and get going. Or just really, really good music will help sometimes too. But I would just love to know how you guys keep yourself motivated to do what you need to do, even when you don't feel like it. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. I need you here. More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over Yeah You never break you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay, it's just a phase And everything is going just great about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen Yeah You would find a new distraction I need you more I need you here More than I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah you never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries, I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot, it's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay, it's just a phase Everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah
my husband, God bless his heart. You guys know that I have been feeling the best and I'm pushing through and doing the best that I can and so forth and such on. And bless his heart, I just don't think he knows what to do with me. <laughs> he just doesn't know what to do. So his way of trying to help me or try to make me feel good because he knows I love my home and I love decorating and I love doing all new things in my house. He buys me things. <laughs> so, yesterday he had to stop at Dollar General to pick himself up a drink for today for work and he brought me home all of these. So I thought I'd show you them real quick. And this is so cute. Excuse me guys, the medicine makes my mouth a little dry. The kitchen brings a family together. This is absolutely adorable. He's got good taste. Got me this one. Be our guest. These were five dollars. Super, super cute. Wait. He got me this one. The gathering place where memories are made, which looks so similar to, I'm going to move the camera to that one up there, up there that I got from Hobby Lobby for $22. I mean, I didn't pay $22 for it. I got it 50% off, but still he paid five for this the canvas and everything. Okay. He got me this one. Do small things with great love. This one was $3. And then he got me this one. I love this one. Let's stay home. It has like the little beads at the top. So he got me all of these. <laughs> Bless his heart. I really love this man. He just doesn't know how to help me. He just doesn't know how to help me with what I'm going through. But he knows I love our home and I love decorating and everything. I said all this. So he brings me home like these little surprises. Two days prior to this, he brought me these flowers. He brought me these flowers home. <laughs> so bless his heart. Bless his heart. He is so trying. He is so trying to, in his own way, to help me just feel better, more like myself. So where I want some of these, I'm not going to be able to hang on my own. I'm going to have to wait for him. Um, he promised me this weekend that we would get the living room finished and the little thing that I bought for the bedroom to even out the side by the horse picture. He was supposed to do that over this weekend, but he got a little busy, but he promised me he would do the living room with me and that this, this weekend. So some of these I'm going to save for the weekend to go along with what I'm doing in the living room, but there's two of these that I would really like to put in my kitchen. And I think... I'm capable of doing that because it's really easy to get to so I'm gonna try to hang these up in my kitchen but I just wanted to show you them real quick and if you're interested in these he literally just got these from the Dollar General believe it or not I mean like some of these look like Hobby Lobby stuff so if it's your style go out and get yourself some Cause when it's good, it's great So we can't see we're fading away So this hope is that we stay close But it's the life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time
You know that I'ma keep it cold With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge screening out With us it's all or nothing Okay guys, let's get this simple recipe going. So this is how I make my family's favorite chicken quesadillas. They love it. I just start with a pack of chicken tenderloins or chicken breasts, whatever you have on hand. I let my Instapot do all the hard work for me. I just put it in there. I put some seasonings like chili powder, cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, of course. I add a little bit of water. If I have the whole day, I will set this to slow cook and let it slow cook all day. I mean, the chicken just falls apart. If you don't have a ton of time and you do have an Instapot, do all the same things and put it on like soup setting for like, I don't know, an hour to 45 minutes and you'll get the same results. But I like that slow cook. So I usually start it early in the morning. And by the time I'm ready to serve dinner, oh my goodness, the chicken is just falling apart. It is so yummy. So I just throw a, you know, a tortilla down in the cast iron skillet. I put some taco blend cheese on it. There's the chicken from the Instapot. I, it just shreds like butter. I throw that on top of it. And then what I do is I kind of fold the one half that doesn't have cheese and chicken on it over to make it look like, I guess like a taco, I'm not sure, but this is how my family likes it. And then when I'm done cooking it, you can either leave it whole because they can just pick it up and eat it kind of like a very large oversized taco. My husband likes for me to cut it in fours so that he can dip it. His favorite way to eat it is with ranch. Um, the rest of my family puts salsa on top. Another thing that we started adding to this too, because my husband requests these chicken quesadillas very often, is he loves um, refried beans. So sometimes we throw some refried beans in there as well. Top it with, like I said, salsa or dip it in ranch. And I'm telling you, it is the easiest meal ever. And my family absolutely loves it. And it takes no time at all. Okay, that's it for me today, lovies. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Just a quick tidy up, a little decorate with me. Um, I showed you one of my family's favorite, really quick, simple, easy meals. If you just need something to feed your family <laughs> and move on, that is like the essential quick, easy meal. And I just thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate it. I so appreciate all of you being here. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. YouTube should notify you when I upload new videos. And until next time, whether you live in a mobile home or a mansion, be grateful for what God has given you. Take care of it. Be blessed and make it beautiful, make it your own, and God will give you more. I just know he will. And I'll be talking to you soon in the next video, guys. Until then, please take care of you. Enjoy the beautiful spring that is upon us. Have a grateful heart, and know that I love you, and Jesus loves you more. Bye, guys. Ooh, but guess I need more of you.